unclear to me even if the system we have now should even be called capitalism, at least in the, by many of the classical understandings of the term. It's largely based on rent seeking. It's largely, profits are largely from, not from investment in production or even commerce. You know? it's, it's from the artificial production of debt. And the human costs of this are enormous. I mean, even if you compare Germany and, and the UK, two places which should be on roughly the same economic level, you know, wages have gone up something like 20%. Um, um, in mm. real terms in Germany in the last, what is it, two decades or so. Mm -hmm. But, you know, during the same period, they went down effectively here. You know, we have nurses using food banks. We have, you know, poverty level life experiences for people who are working quite hard. And it's all completely unnecessary. And I think the terrible, what we really need to understand about the rhetoric of austerity, it, it was a moral rhetoric, much more than it was an economic one. It worked. They made people think that, you know, if you sacrifice now, this will mean your children or grandchildren will be richer. And, and you know, the terrible irony is, is not only is it not true, it might well be the opposite. You know, people's sacrifices actually are going to make their grandchildren poorer unless we do something about this very quickly. We've um, covered a fair bit of the landscape, and then we talked a lot about private debt. So let's wrap up with this question, which is this. Why are we blind to it? Why is it so taboo? We have this fantasy that, that um, economists do that, you know, economies are a giant barter system. I think that a lot of people would be very uncomfortable of understanding this. A whole, a whole political rhetoric is based on the assumption that the economy works in a way that doesn't really work. And people don't want to rethink everything, especially when pe so many people have made so many sacrifices, real human sacrifices, in the name of a false understanding.